Hey guys, welcome. I hope all is well. I am all aired down, ready to hit the trail, have some fun, and find an awesome camp spot. All right, let's go do this. I made it to camp. I'm actually wandering up here a little bit because I saw some stuff and I'm kind of curious what's up here before I set everything up. Oh, look at that. There's a cow right there. There's another one over there hidden in the trees. Oh, this is a little watering hole. That's why the cows are here. And I did see something up here as well. Ow. All right. Mm, there's a dead bird right there. So I take it this for the cattle. Cool. All right, I am going to head back down and start setting up camp. All right, guys, I got camp all set up and squared away. Now I'm just doing the last few things. Making sure my lights are up. Oof. I need a time for it to adjust, but it says it's 101. It ain't no 101. All right, so it's slowly starting to adjust. 
I have the one for outside in the truck bed right now, and then I'm gonna put this one inside. There we go. Keep that in the tent. And that way we'll know the tent. When I first got here, my truck was saying it was 66 degrees outside.
right, the firing and the wood, it's all situated, ready to go. You can go ahead and take a look. I put, um, you know, little sticks, twigs there, big ones right there. And then I could get the saw and cut these down, but I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna need to. I have these right here sorted out. So it's all kind of sorted. But now I'm actually gonna start uh, prepping my food. So something I wasn't planning on doing on this trip was actually meal prepping. Um, you know, cooking a bunch of food for this week. But when I was at Costco, I saw this great deal on salmon. And I was like, oh man, I gotta grab this. But it, it's like six fillets. So I was like, all right, it looks like I'm meal prepping when I'm going camping. So I actually got my potatoes and veggies out right now. I'm gonna dice everything up, cut those all up, get them ready. And then once I get the campfire going, that is when I'll start cooking because I'm cooking everything on the campfire.
So I got the fire going and it is roaring. It's been going for a minute now and something I am realizing is that the wind is blowing the smoke right into my canopy and my whole setup area. So cooking is going to get interesting because, you know, I made, I fixed up this massive firing and the hopes of using this little opening right here to be able to handle all my food while I'm cooking. But as you can see, all the smoke is literally blowing right that way into my area. So we will see what happens when I start cooking here in a minute.
All right, the sun's about to go down. Maybe I think sunset's at about half an hour. I'm glad I was able to get all the potatoes and veggies done before then. Uh, it took a minute because the potatoes I had to do in two rounds. So now all I have to do is cook the salmon, but check it out real quick. So I pulled out the salmon from the, um, the ice chest and I was reading it and I saw, cause I was wondering, I was like, why is it so cheap, man? That's so crazy. But I looked and I saw that it's actually labeled as Pacific cod, not salmon. It's obviously salmon, but I think that's why I got it for so cheap. So, hey, rock on. Oh, uh, something as well I forgot. Um, I have nothing to put the salmon in. I have the containers for the potatoes and the veggies all squared away, but once I'm done cooking the salmon, I was trying to think what I can do. I think I might have an idea. We'll see. I am gonna cook the salmon right now, and then we'll worry about that later. All right, my food was delicious. You can see the sun has all but set. We're just dealing with the last little bit of light. Here's what the fire looks like right now. I realized in um, when I was eating that I can actually make something work to have my salmon uh, so I can pack up my salmon. <clears throat> So I have these uh, silicone bags that I was using for uh, for my fruit. I'm just gonna transfer them all to one bag and then I'll use the other bag for my fish, which is right here. And then everything will be in storage.
Okay, guys. I am going to enjoy the fire. The last little bit of light I have left. And I will see you at some point in the morning. Well, this turned into a really lazy morning. I'm kind of not surprised because last night, you know, when I was cooking, it just took forever and it just, it, it ended up being an exhausting uh, day. And then, you know, when I put the camera away to start enjoying the fire and relax, I, I got a headache and I was like, man, this sucks. So, you know, I took some ibuprofen ended up letting the fire once it dwindled away i still had the headache so i was like screw it i'm just gonna go to bed and then you know when i got up this morning i was like you know what and, you know because i could see the sun rising i was like I'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna worry about it i'm gonna sleep in i'm i'm gonna be lazy i'm gonna enjoy being doing nothing and so that's pretty much what i did this morning and i have been doing i think it's let's see what time it is right now Right, it's almost 9.30, it's 9.22. But I'm not planning on cooking breakfast. This is going to be my breakfast right here. Some fruit. <laughs> I do have some more fruit. And if I'm really craving it, I'll have some leftovers. But no part of me feels like cooking or putting any effort in today. It's just gonna be pretty much being lazy. All right, guys, so I've just been relaxing, enjoying my time here, but I've got a few more hours until I need to head out. So I'm just gonna enjoy being here and this is where I'm gonna leave you. So just like normal, I appreciate you. Remember, it's only impossible until it no longer is and hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care guys.